good morning students so today we are going to deal or uh, we are going to discuss about the tools of recombinant dna technology the tools of recombinant dna technology are uh, restriction enzymes polymerase enzymes ligases vectors and the host organism so now coming to the restriction enzymes the restriction endonucleases also called as restriction enzymes these enzymes cut the long linear dna molecule into fragments these enzymes can recognize a specific nucleotide sequence called palindrome sequence what is this palindromic sequence this palindromic sequence is the letters that form the same words when read in both forward and backward direction that is when you read from the front side or even from the back side you can see the same spelling so for example if you take madam m a d a m so when you reverse and write it m a d a m madam in the same way uh, e co r i recognizes the palindromic sequence 5 prime g a a t t c 3 prime this is on one strand so what is this palindromic sequence of this uh, Uh, sequence what i said is 3 prime c t t a a g 5 prime and what happens and it cut the dna between g and a on both the strands this leads to the formation of sticky single stranded portion of the ends then this type of cut is also called the staggered cut this stickiness of the end facilitates the action of enzyme dna ligase so this is the action of restriction enzyme what is this action these enzymes are isolated from bacteria and named with three or four letter sequence followed by roman numeral example e co r i today we know more than 900 restriction enzymes that have been isolated from over 230 strains of bacteria in the next one we are going to see is the cloning vectors the dna used as carrier for transferring a fragment of foreign dna into a suitable host so for this the dna to carry we need suitable host uh, so that is for transferring a fragment of foreign dna into a suitable host is called a vector so we need vector to carry or to transfer the foreign dna into a suitable host now what is the cloning vectors when vector used for multiplying the foreign dna sequences are called cloning vectors examples plasmids bacteriophages cosmids and artificial chromosomes etc so examples plasmids bacteriophages cosmids and artificial chromosomes now what is the characteristics features of vectors we cannot say all can be the carrier of foreign dna or all cannot be multiplying the foreign dna each vector needs some of the characters like should have low molecular weight should contains one or two selectable markers what is the selectable markers that is the genes encoding antibiotic resistance it should contains origin of replication the vector should contain restriction sites for endonucleases for incorporation of desired genes should be easy to isolate and purify apart from this even the natural vectors artificial restricted plasmids like p to the power of br322 p to the power of uc19 p to the power of uc109 etc are also used in our dna technology that is the recombinant dna technology and the ti plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens is used to deliver desired gene into plants and disarmed retrovirus are now used to deliver desired genes into animal cells and come to the next one the host competent competent host to introduce this recombinant dna into bacterial cells they should be made competent to take up dna this is done by treating with a specific concentration of calcium ions which increase the efficiency of uptaking of dna by bacteria through pores of its cell wall okay so the host 
should be done by treating with the specific concentration of calcium ions which will increase to uptake the dna by bacteria through the pores on the cell walls some pores are present which is able to take up this bacteria so this is about some of the tools of recombinant dna technology thank you